Hi there you guys, I'm Teddy from Bijuteo Beading and in today's tutorial I'm gonna be showing you how to make these beautiful seed beads hitrol style earrings. I'm showing step by step and even if you are a beginner I'm sure you're gonna be able to make them with these clear instructions that I'm giving. If you're new here consider subscribing with the bell. If you like, share and comment my videos, you help me so much. This is a great support that you're doing and thank you for this, guys. Down there in description, there are useful resources. Also, you could check the membership option that goes with the course Five Unexpected Designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch and other perks. So you could definitely check this one out as well. And now, without further ado, let's get started with the list of the materials. Okay guys, so what I'm using here for this video are four colors of 11 o seed beads. These are green, yellow, orange and red. I'm also using here earring findings. This is monofilament that is 0.006 inches or 0.15 millimeters. You could use similar size of monofilament. And by the way, you could check description for full list of materials link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following me, also a link to the membership option. Now, if you become a member for less than $5 per month, you will get the course 5 unexpected designs that you could do with Peyote Stitch and you will get early access to videos and other perks that you could see also down there. Sorry for this interruption, now let's continue. This is size 10 beading needle. You could use size 11 or 12 if you want. These are scissors and these are flat nose pliers that are not obligatory, but I use them only if I need to go through the difficult beads. And now I'm going to take about an ounce ten of thread on my needle and I'll be back. And I will start by picking up one green bead I'm sliding it down almost until the end of my work and I want to make it a stopper bead. That's why I'm going like this backwards and pulling. Okay, and I could go one more time. In my next step, I'm taking three greens and one yellow and I slide them. Green is my background color. Okay. And I'm going to repeat these three greens, one yellow. And I want to repeat this sequence, three greens, one yellow, seven times in total. Here I already repeated it uh, two times, so I need to do this five more times and then I'll be back. Okay guys, and I have seven times this sequence, three greens, one yellow. Okay, I repeated it seven times. And now after that I need six more green beads and I'm sliding those down. Okay, now I have this. And in my next step, guys, what I want to do is keep this final bead here and go through the following two beads. Okay, I skipped this one at the end and I went through two beads. Okay, this is what I have now. And in my next step, I need three green beads. And as I'm exiting here, out of the third green, counting from here, I'm going through the yellow, which is the fourth bead. So I take three and I go through the yellow. And I pull. Now I have this, take three and go through the yellow, exiting through one of the yellows, I'm going through the other one. 
or skipping three and going through the fourth one. Okay, I will continue this until the end and I will meet you at the final step. I will continue and meet you here at the end to show you what we do next. And you see guys, I continued a few more steps and here I am at my final step of this row. And now I will skip the next three green beads and I will go through the last one that was my stopper bead. Okay, and I pull. Now I'm going back, I'm not going again through this one, but I'm skipping it and I'm going through the next two green beads. Okay, and I pull. Now I'm in the middle of these three beads that I added. I'm exiting out of the middle one. And I need three green beads. And as I'm exiting out of the middle here, I want to also go in the middle of the next tree. Okay. And I pull. Now take two orange beads and one green bead and go in the next middle of the green beads that you have. Then again, two orange beads and one green and go in the middle green bead here. And continue almost until the last step here and I'll be back. And okay guys, and here I am where I'm adding my last two orange, one green beads. And they are five in total, these steps. Now I need to add three green beads and I'm going here in the middle one of these three that are last in this row. Okay. Then I prefer to flip my work because I'm right handed and I will go in the other direction. If it's easier for you, don't do this step. Okay. And now I want to skip this green bead here that I'm exiting out of. I'm not going back through it, but I'm going back through these two green beads. Like this. And every time when I go back, I take three green beads and I go in the middle of the these three beads that I have and it is this orange bead. Okay green and two oranges and this is the middle one. Now I need a green, a red and an orange and again I go here in the first orange bead which is the middle one of the three that I added in my previous row. And I take green, red, orange again and I go in the middle of the three beads that I added or in the first orange, if it's easier for you to remember. And the same sequence. And here at the last step, what I need are three green beads. And I go here in the middle green my previous row. Okay, now I have this. Then again, I want to flip my work. And I'm not going through this bead here. I skip it and I go through the next two green beads. Now I need two reds and one green and I go here through the red one, which is the middle of the three beads that I added in my previous row. Then again two reds, one green and I go here in the middle again. Okay. 
again. And again. And I need three green beads for my last step. And I go here through the middle of these three green beads and I pull. Okay, this is what I do. Then I'm going to flip my work. And again, guys, as I'm exiting here, I'm not going through this green bead, but I skip it and I go through the next two greens. Now, what I need again, always when I go back, I take my background color, which is green, and I go here through the first red one, which is the middle of the beads that I added in my previous row. One green and two yellows. And I go again in the first of the two reds that I added in my previous row. And one green, two yellows. And I go in the same place here. Now, because this is the last step of this row, I take always three greens for the last and for the first step of each row, if you have noticed. And I go like this. Now I'm going to flip. And then I will skip this one that's on my way. And I go through the following two. In this way, exiting from the central of the three green beads. And I need three green beads. And I go in the second one of these two yellows. Then one yellow and two greens. Again, go in the second yellow. Then again, one yellow, two greens. And go here in the center. Okay, like this. Then I flip skip this one that's on my way and go through the following two. Three green beads. Go here in the second or in the middle one of these three that I added. Three again. And go here in this middle one. Okay, why I'm adding greens? Because these are the first and the last step of my rows. And now I flip. I don't go through this one that's on my way, but I go through the next two. And I take three beads. Then I go here in the middle. Okay, so now this is what I have. And now guys, I want to reach this part here. Okay, and now as I'm here, what I want to do is go through this stopper bead again. And I want to add my earring finding. Okay, here it is. 
I'm taking yellow, orange, red. I go through my earring finding and slide it down. Then I take red, orange, yellow. Then I go back through this bead here at the top. Now I want to reinforce this one more time. And what I want to do next is go through the next two green beads. And in this way, I'm exiting out of the central green that I have here. Okay, you see, this is the central green. And I'm going to repeat what I did before. I'm taking three green beads and I'm going here in the middle one of this tree. I take two orange beads and one green. And I go here. You see it is the same thing from here and here. And I'll let you do this row until the end with two orange, one green. Okay. And I go here. Now I have one, two, three, four, five steps in total. Three greens. Skip this one and go through the following two. Three greens. First orange. Okay. Green, red, orange. Go here. Finish this row until the last step and meet me. And I'm adding green, red, orange four times in total. Three to finish. Three to start the next row with. And in this step, I'm going to be going through the red beads because they are the central ones. And I need two reds, one green. I go here. Repeat this two more times and meet me. And the last greens after these three steps. One green, two yellows go in the first red. One green, two yellows go in the first red. Three greens. Three greens, second yellow, one yellow, two greens, Three greens, second green, three greens, middle green, flip, 
keep this one go through the next two three greens and go here and with these guys your beaded leaf is ready you should just go in this direction and find a place to make a knot and how I do this I make here a loop and I go once and I go second time through this loop I've made then I pull and in my next step I go in this direction through some beads I cut my thread and my Hicho style beaded leaf is ready. Okay guys, and now my beaded leaves with seed beads Hicho style are ready. So if you like them and you want to see more and more videos like this, it's a good idea to subscribe if you still haven't and hit the bell to be notified for my new videos. Also like, share and comment and you don't know how much of a support this is. Down there in description you will find the full list of materials, link for PayPal donations to develop this channel, link to all my social networks where you could share your beautiful work that you did following my tutorials mainly on Facebook and Instagram. You could also check the membership option and the perks that go with it and the membership is less than $5 per month and you could start and cancel anytime so, so you could try it out. Now click on the video that's on your screen and continue watching.